know that athletes are most at risk for spraining their wrist or ankle? That's why knowing how to wrap a sprain is an important thing to know. If it's, it's not that hard to do, but if it's not done right, it's not going to help you. Whether it's for you or somebody you know, knowing how to wrap a sprain is something that is very helpful to them. Both of my parents work in the medical field and have taught me how to wrap a sprain because I have sprained both my wrist and my ankle. I also do medical research for fun in my free time, and I have researched sprains as I have had a sprain before. So today I will be showing you how to wrap a sprained wrist and ankle so that if you have a sprain one day, you can take care of it at home and not have to spend a lot of money at the doctors. So to wrap a sprain, you're gonna need a wrap. These are ace bandages, but there's also a coat band that you can buy at Walmart. These ones are reusable and have Velcro to hold it together. This one I will be used for the ankle and this one will be used for the wrist, but the coat band most of the time is this size. They have other sizes and you can use it for both. And then a safety pin to secure it and also medical tape to secure it because there's two different ways you can. So first, I will talk to you about what to do before you wrap the spring. So say you slip on ice and you land putting all of your weight onto one wrist and now you have a sprain. <clears throat> the first thing you're going to want to do when you get inside is put an ice pack onto your wrist, either this side or this side, whichever feels more comfortable and whichever one has more pain, and then take a pain med for one, the pain, obviously, and then the swelling as well, and then you're going to want to rest your wrist above your heart. If you're sitting, you're going to want to do it like this, about eye level, but if you're laying down, you're just going to raise it up with some pillows, and then you do the same thing for your ankle, but you should definitely lay down to put your ankle up because it's easier that way. And then after that, you're gonna wrap the wrist and the ankle. There's an acronym called VICE, which is the first aid procedure, like treatment for when you first get a sprain. And VICE stands for rest, ice, compression, and elevation. This is not, they say it's not the cure, but if you keep the compression and you keep it wrapped, you will, it will eventually be healed at home. So now I will show you how to wrap the sprain. Wrist. So I'm going to use this one, and then you're just going to take the velcro, and you're going to lay it so that it's facing upwards and not touching the skin, but you can also do it on the other side, this side, like this, but make sure that it's not going to touch the skin. And then you're going to wrap it in spirals up to around your thumb, and make sure that it's tight, but it's, you don't want it to be too tight that you're going to lose circulation. But if it's not too tight, then you're not getting that compression, and it's not going to help it get better. And then once you get up to the thumb, you're going to do figure eights, and there's multiple different ways you can do this. And I like to come up from underneath, and then go in between the two fingers, and then wrap it underneath the hand like this, and then wrap it around the hand like this. And then I just go around again, and wrap it up here, and then wrap it around one more time, fully around here, and then wrap it back up to where I started. And if you're using Coban, it's not going to stop unless you run out. So you just want to make sure you go over it twice like I am here. <coughs> and then once you get to the end, you're going to Velcro it so that it stays together. But to also help it, I'm going to show you how to use a safety pin with this. And obviously, you should know how to use a safety pin. But um, you're going to pick up the layer that you just laid down, that right next to the Velcro, but not on the Velcro, and then poke that through. You're lifting it up so you make sure that you don't stab the person or yourself, and then you're just going to put it through. I like to put it through three layers if I can, and then you just close it. And I recommend doing one on each side here, because then it's going to stay like all day, but obviously you can do the smaller one, I'm just using a bigger one, so it's easier to see. And then you can just take that off when you're done. And then to unwrap this, you're going to want to take it off, and then with the Velcro, you don't want to fold it inward, because then it's going to end up messing up the wrap. You want to fold it out, so then it's facing away from you, and then you just wrap it up kind of in a spiral, and then it's going to end up looking like this when you're done wrapping it, but you want to be nice to make sure that you're not going to hurt the person, and you're not going to damage the wrist more, and then taking off the figure eights can be a little bit difficult, especially if like, it hurts too much to move your fingers, but you just kind of unwrap it the same way that you put it on, and then it's not, it's easier to take off than it is to put on, especially if you're putting it, taking it off yourself or putting it on. It's harder to put on yourself than to take off yourself. And then once you get to the end, you're just going to take off the velcro, and then the velcro is just left. Now that you know how to do that, I am going to show you how to wrap your ankle. So starting at... So starting at the top of the foot, you're going to want to 
want you to put the Velcro away from the skin. I can't really see, but it's going to be laying like this, safe as you possibly could, just a little bit down from the toes. And then you're going to wrap it in spirals again up to the heel part. And the smaller the foot, the less rapid you can take, obviously. And then you're going to do figure eight. You go underneath the foot and then wrap it up to the ankle part heel. And then you're going to wrap it underneath and then wrap it around making. This is going to make an X kind of a figure. And then you just do that a couple times. And then once I get to the end of doing that, I'm just going to wrap it up the ankle a little bit. And then once you get it to the point that you feel it's most comfortable, you're going to wrap it back down the ankle. And then go through the Velcro and belt piece. Remember, it's here, but if you're using COVID, I recommend going back to where you had started. And now I'm going to show you with medical tape. And you might think that you're supposed to just put it on like the same way that the Velcro is going like this, but you're actually going to want to put it on like this. And you're going to want to put one in the middle and then two on the sides, kind of like this, hanging off the sides a little bit. So then it's also securing it to the rest of the wrap. And then you just do that on both sides to make sure that you stay on longer. And this is better for if you are going to be working more because it's more flexible. And then, yeah, you should wear your wrap for two weeks. And if it's not better by then, you need to go to the doctors because there's some obviously something worse with your foot. So now that you know how to wrap a sprain and why it is important, this is how you save you money from not going to the doctors. Hopefully you never have to use this, but if you do one day, now you know. Thank you for listening to my speech.